Good morning everyone, Rob from emtbforums.com. Um, I am out on my Levo this morning, I'm in Swinley Forest. It's the first ride, second ride of the year actually. I've had my 2018 Levo for, I don't know, about three months. But what I want to do today is get the Levo out. I've not ridden it in good weather in a long time. It is a really nice day today, so after the pretty awful wind and weather that we've had, I'm really looking forward to getting out there. Let's have a quick blast, shall we? The paint job on here is superb. Look at that. It's got like a, a different kind of tint to that purpley blue that you get depending on the angle and depending on the light. I really like the matte. I wasn't sure if I'd like it because we couldn't see it when we ordered it. We ordered it blind pretty much just going from the photos. But what I would say is you don't really tell from the photos on the specialized website. Be nice if they did some videos like this but look at that the quality of that paint and that finish is really nice i do love specialized attention to detail and the effort they put in so if you haven't seen the turbo levo 2018 before basically you've got this trail remote just here and that will do your three modes so that will do your um your eco your trail and your turbo hopefully they'll put more modes on there rather than having just three because uh you know it's just a software update and then on the other side i think what this one does is it puts into a hundred percent so if you tap that if you set up your mission control and you've just got a few different settings for your assistance that one will always give you i think it's a hundred percent um current to the motor or voltage to the motor which is pretty cool guide re brakes seem all right to me yeah give you good stopping power. This RockShox uh, Rev Revelation fork, which I know some people online I've seen, has changed it to a uh, to a 160 millimeter travel length instead of a 150, the stock 150. And then on the back, got a Monarch. I think it's a Monarch anyway. And then this will have the Bros 1.3 motor in it, which is apparently 15% more powerful than last year's. I never actually rode the last year's, so I haven't got anything to compare it to. But what I've seen from the guys that are mentioning on uh, emtbforums.com is that it's one of the weaker out of uh, all the manufacturers with maybe the, is it the Shimano being perhaps the strongest or having the most power. So who knows, it's pretty early days for e-bikes. So I'm sure we'll see some pretty rapid upgrades in motor technology over the next few years. And then you've got the old battery in the frame, which goes down there. I hope I don't damage it because they're 700 pounds for a new one, which is crazy, but I'm pretty sure it contains all the, all the processor, all the brains and everything in the battery. But 700 bucks, you thought an iPhone battery was expensive, 700 quid for a battery. It's quite a lot of dollar. So yeah, on the whole, I absolutely love this. It is one of my most fun bikes that I've ever owned or we've ever owned, because it's not actually mine, it's my wife's. Right, it's pretty chilly out here. My hands are pretty damn cold, it's about three degrees. So I reckon we'll go for a bit more of a cruise around these trails, take a look around on this gorgeous day and uh, do some more video. Hopefully it'll come out all right. And then um, see you in a bit, bye. Swinley Blue on my Turbo Levo. Nice day out here today, look at that. Perfect trail. Oh, sun burning through. Well, not really burning, shining through. But golden sunlight in the middle of January. No one's gonna say no. It is absolutely beautiful out here. I've fallen off this bike three times already. And every single time, the front washes out. I lose the front completely. So I'm trying not to do that again because it bloody hurt last time. I had a massive bruise down my left leg. Oh, no one about. Just going to join this neck trail. Blue too. Through this nice sunny cold winter day 
it is lovely out here. Okay, so on my Levo, I am on trail mode, which I keep it in most of the time, apart from when I'm feeling a little bit knackered. I uh, work in central London. I commute into London every single day, so this is my, uh, this is my kind of therapy getting out here and doing this. Yeah, still a uh, struggle to work out, really, compared to my carbon Levo, sorry, my carbon Stumpy, how to weight this effectively to not risk washing the front out, because I don't want to, don't want to hurt myself, do I? All right, blue four, here we go. Crank through those gears, grind through those gears. I was talking to one of the mateys in the shop yesterday, and the specialised dealer, and he's just got a Kinevo, and uh, he he thinks that he he's going to get one of the Shimano, no SRAM, I think it's EX1, nine speeds. And actually, I quite fancy that because with these 11 speeds on an e-bike, you find yourself shifting all of the time. I don't know about anyone else, but I shift a lot on this. Obviously, because my speed fluctuates so much. And uh, last time I went out, my thumb bloody up. Lovely day, lovely day, lovely day. La -uh -uh -uh. Bit of Jack Frosty crackling under the tires. Let's buzz through blue five. I think it's at the end of this one when I come out of it. If there's some some riders on vintage bikes. I love blasting past them. Gives me a bit of a giggle. And because the uh, because the Levo is quite it's quite inconspicuous really. A lot of people don't even know it's an e-bike. So they must just think come Lance Armstrong on the roids. But I'm not. Let's get the pace on. Now, there's a nice spot just up here around the corner when we get onto the next trail. I'm hopefully going to be able to do a couple of nice picks in the bike. Yeah, oh, by the way, I've got some seal skin socks. They're nice and tasty, so totally waterproof so I can go through anything. And uh, not give a damn about getting wet feet. Like this. Yeah. Blue Le Bleu 7. Ons du tres, quatre, cinq, six. Dix. Is that it? Nah, it's not, is it? Got that wrong. Yeah, let's just have a look at this because this is a nice, nice cheeky vista to look out on. Look at that. Lovely. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Have you ever done it where you feel like you're going really fast and then when you watch it back you think, oh my god. You imagine yourself riding like oh, someone from the Enduro World Series. And you're like, yeah, must have got about two metres of air there, easy. You watch it back and then you're like, what did I even leave the earth? Yeah, that's me, basically. Do you hear that grinding on the gears? I've always tried to not do that on bikes. But it's really difficult on the Levo because you've always got a bit of assistance as long as you're pedaling. By the way, I've no idea what this video is going to end up like. I'm sorry if you're watching it this far and it's pretty junk, but Hey, you've got to start somewhere, right? Thank you. Grab. All right. Thank you. Let's see, you don't get mountain bike rage, do you? Like you do in your car. So yeah, anyway, I've just started a new website, emtbforums.com, basically because I couldn't find any decent UK websites or worldwide websites e-mountain bikes just to get a load of e-bikers from across the world one place to kind of chat and share pictures and ride stories 
mods, tips, I don't know, basically to uh, geek out over e-bikes and not worry about a load of people that might be a bit annoyed that people are talking about e-bikes. So that's why I did it. And it went live on Sunday. It's now Friday. And thanks to the 35 people that have already registered, you legends, you've all got founder status on your tags. But um, spread the word because I want it to be I want it to be the biggest in the world, the biggest e-mountain bike resource in the world where kind of communities come together. I've also got an Instagram account, eMTB Forums, to do a search on that. I've got a few hundred followers on that actually, which there is a lot of love out there for e-mountain bikes. So if you're one of my followers, cheers bro, or cheers girls, whatever. By the way, you know I told you my uh, I shift a lot on this bike, as in don't shift as in get speed on, but shift a lot through the gears. And my thumbs really started to hurt. I don't know if it's just because I'm shifting more, or these GX, these GX Ram GX kind of um, levers and cassette, not the cassette, the uh, the rear mech just tight. It's my thumb. I feel like right worse. My thumb. It's really hurting. Maybe it's because it's not got the warmest of gloves on. But um, yeah, it's annoying. My poor thumb. All right, shift, shift. Oh, my thumb. Let's go over here and down. And yeah, I think I think some of the reasons that I've fallen off in the past around here because it is, look at this terrain, it is hard, wet and small rocks and stones. So these butchers are good, but this track's like, hey, I'm going to make you slip over. And um, I have done a few times. Right, that was Blue 10. Well exciting. I bet you loved that, didn't you? By the way, I've got a little furry cat, or dead cat as it's called, I think. Oh, shit. There's number 12. So, let's go over to red one. Red one, come in. Here we go. So, if anyone's got any recommendations for plus size tyres, this is a 2.8. They're a bit better in this hard pack, kind of stony, greasy, grimy trail. This is my local trail, so I'd really appreciate it. Or maybe, is it my tyre pressure? I don't know, let me know, because I think I've got about 16 or 15 in the front, and uh, maybe 17 in the back, but it still feels like it's pretty pumped up, to be honest with you. I was talking with the tech at the uh, local bike shop, the specialised dealers yesterday, and he told me he puts 50 PSI in his. I'm like, what? So yeah, so he told me he puts his tyres on 50, 50 PSI. I don't even know if they're supposed to go that high, but anyway, he's a tech at Specialized, so I trust him. So maybe I'll experiment with the old tyre pressure. Under pressure. So yeah, ooh, see I nearly lost it again. Um, and it's always a front. I think what I'm gonna do is it's an excuse, isn't it? If a man maths add up, I'm just going to have to buy another one. I think I'll get the Kinevo in XL. Uh, don't do a carbon one. They do a uh, nice green one, gloss green, and they do a black one. But I quite like the green one. All right. Nice mud. Cheers, mud. Love ya. Oh, yeah. So the other thing about these bikes is the bottom bracket's quite low. So you do tend to get quite a few pedal strikes. But what I've done is I've worked out. It doesn't take you long to try and adjust and do the old ratchet tactic. So you're not pedaling a full rotation. You're just kind of ratcheting it up and down. So you're not risking your pedal strike. So yeah, I'm not going to lie. This is a wonderful bike. Look at it. Look at the colour. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Really, really good. 
easy to ride feels like a regular bike when you're riding it specialized have done a really good job to kind of put the stake in the ground really is the i don't know i don't know if it's the the benchmark e-bike but certainly in the uk 75 percent of the e-bikes that i see are, are one of these a levo of some kind i don't really see any from the other manufacturers so i wish there was some more that i could have a look at and have a go on but i know in the rest of europe the e-bike scene is pretty big much bigger than the uk and the us but yeah i'm dead happy with my bike or the wife's bike shall we say i'm well happy with it to be totally honest with you like i said in the ride i am um, a total convert to e-bikes right now just because they just bring so much more fun i believe to um to mountain biking and sometimes when you just think oh maybe i can't be bothered to go out for a ride this you've got no excuses really because the battery and the motor um just just kind of carry you when you're when you're thinking oh, i'm thinking of turning around and going home you can just carry on on these they're such a pleasure to ride they are a bit 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 lumpy bit heavy um compared to your regular vintage bike but um yeah get on one try it out and see what you think and let me know in the comments if you want to find out more and join more uh, e-bike owners head over to emtvforums.com we're new so register come and say hello come and post your question um, or just come and uh, socialize with other e-bike owners um, all e-bike mountain owners are welcome so pop along and say hi peace out Thank <laughs> you.